welcome back to my chaos corner it's been a little bit so I am starting things off with just a few videos on different things that I like to use and why uh, my first favorite is freezer paper it can be any brand it, you know I'm not I'm not saying Reynolds is the best I'm not saying that no name brand from somewhere else won't do it's just Reynolds is what I can readily get. This is um, 150 square feet, and I think I spent maybe seven dollars on the box, and it has it lasts for a very long time. It's so 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 long that I've had to reinforce the corners of this poor box. Um, and the reason why I like it is it can serve so many different purposes. Um, one, it can protect your surface. It can, um, let me move this over here so you can kind of see a little bit. So this is a different piece and I used it for while I was painting the end of this spoon. I want a fancy spoon, but that's another, that's another video. Um, so you can see where some paint got on it. I also put glitter on this spoon. So when I want to reclaim my glitter, I can just pick this up, funnel it, and funnel it right back into its container. So I have less glitter loss that way. Um, also, this paper is two-sided. You have a shiny side, see the shine there? And then you have a matte or dull side. Um, I always make sure when I'm working that I have shiny side up. <clears throat> because shiny side can um, keep things from sticking. So like when you're painting and you get some get some paint on the bottom of your piece, you can, you can set it right down. And you're not going to have to worry about that it gets stuck to your work surface. Another good thing is this makes a great paint palette. You can protect your piece, you can protect your surface, and you can have your paints out on the side and make paint out. That way, you don't have to go looking for your paint palettes. You don't have to remember to clean them out. When you're done, you can just throw away your paper. Or, if you're not finished, you can untape the edges and move your piece out of the way so that you can move on to something else while that piece is drying. Um, I just used regular old masking tape to tape down the edges to keep it from rolling on me. So, that is my spiel about freezer paper and why it is my favorite thing to use. It's multi-purpose, it's inexpensive, and helps keep things moving right along. All right, that is it for this short little video. I'll see you on the next one.